Hello everybody, Conti here with another video. How to create a spooky text effect with a rippling backdrop in DaVinci Resolve 17.1. Inside your edit window, go to Effect Library. Underneath Toolbox, select Titles and go to find the text edit. Click and drag one of these to the start of your edit timeline. Using the Selection Mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A, we can click and drag the red playhead to the end of the edit to check the duration. By default in DaVinci Resolve, the duration of this particular text edit will be 5 seconds. For this particular project, I will increase the duration of this to 10 seconds. Click and hold at the end of the edit and drag your mouse cursor to change the duration of the text edit. The small black box which appears next to your mouse cursor indicates the change in duration at the top and the total duration of the text edit in the bottom. Select your text edit, go to Inspector, underneath Video, Title and Rich Text, type the message that you want to have appearing in your animation sequence. For the font family in this particular project I will choose Symbola and go to increase the size value to make the text bigger. For this particular message, I will increase this value to 400. Double click on the box next to color and choose a color shade with some vibrance. For this particular project, I will enter in the hexadecimal code in the HTML box, hashtag 683AFF for a purple shade. Click OK. Return to your edits timeline, ensure that the text edit is still selected, hold CTRL and press C to copy, use command instead of CTRL if you are a Mac user, drag your existing text edit to the video track above your current one, select and drag your red playhead back to the start of this edit, hold in CTRL and press V to paste, ensure that both text edits are parallel with each other. This duplicate text edit will make up the ripple effect that we will see in our final animation. To have the text in this duplicate edit stand out behind the text in your original text filter, with the duplicate text edit selected on the lower video track, return to Inspector and increase the size of the text by about 20%. In this case here, the size for the text in the background will become 500. We will now focus on the editing of the original text edit, which is in the upper video track. To make the bigger text in the background invisible, you should see a disable video track button below the video track number. Select this for the track with your bigger text. And you should now only see the text from your original edit on the preview screen. We will now concentrate on creating the revealing fade effect, which appears on the text in the foreground. Right click on this original text edit and go to select new compound clip. Click create. Select your red playhead and drag this back to the start of your compound clip. With the compound clip selected, click on the transform icon below the bottom left corner of your preview window to have a white frame surrounding the video clip. Go to inspector and underneath video, Go to find the cropping variables. To have our original text message be revealed from the left to the right, we first need to apply the maximum value to the crop right variable. Do this by dragging the grey circle next to the identifier name to the end of the black line. The value 1920 here refers to the width in my video resolution. Therefore, the value that you see in this box may vary depending on your chosen video file for this project. In order to have the text message revealed by the halfway point of your animation and then fade away from the left in the second half of your video clip, we need to apply keyframes to the crop left and crop right variables. Do this by selecting the diamond icons which appear next to each of the variables so that these turn red. Now return to your timeline and drag your red playhead to the halfway point in your compound clip. This can be done by manually dragging with the mouse or by holding in K and tapping L to move the red playhead to the right by one frame. 
or by holding in K and tapping J to move the red playhead to the left by one frame. Should you wish to know how many frames make up a second of screen time for your compound clip, refer to the compound clip thumbnail in your media pool, select the icon which appears in the bottom right corner of this thumbnail when you hover your mouse cursor over this, to reveal the clip attributes. According to the information here, the frame rate for this particular compound clip is 24. Go back to Inspector and reduce the crop right value all the way back down to zero, which should reveal the whole message on screen. Ensure that the crop left keyframe diamond icon is also selected, as we don't want any of the left side cropped out for the first half of the video clip. Now drag your red playhead to the end of your compound clip. This time inputs the maximum value for crop left, 1920 in this case here. Selecting a keyframe setting for crop right here is not necessary, as the value 0 will be maintained for this particular variable for the second half of this animation sequence. As we can see with the preview of our project so far, the cropped edge of our compound clip has a solid appearance. In order to add a fade effect to this, go to softness and decrease this to minus 100. And as seen on the preview here, this should help blend the text in with the dark background. Now to create the animated ripple effect behind this original text message. Go to disable your compound clip on the upper video track. Enable your duplicate text edit. Right click on this duplicate text edit and go to select new compound clip. Click create. Drag the red playhead to the start of your second compound clip. As previously identified in the editing of the first compound clip, the crop left and right variables revealed that the width of the video resolution was 1920 for this particular clip. In this animation sequence, I only wish for one rippling letter to be revealed at a time, like in a searching spotlight effect. We will use the crop left and crop right variables to ensure that only one rippling letter is revealed at a time in this animation sequence. I must first identify one of the wider letters in my animation sequence, such as T, so that I am able to create a frame with enough width to reveal each of the letters in my animation. Under Inspector, increase crop left until the side of the white frame is just before this chosen wide letter. Here I have reached 1158. Now if we increase crop right until the right side of the frame gets to a point just before the T, I come up with 400. In order to calculate the amount of width that will be needed to reveal each letter in your text animation, we need to add these two values together. In this case here it is 1558. Then subtract this value from the total width of the resolution. In this case here, it is 1920. And the final value we come up with here is 362. So how can we ensure that a width of 362 pixels is only revealed from left to right throughout this particular animation sequence? With the red playhead at the start of your second compound clip, go to reset your cropping values by clicking on the top rotating arrow icon to the side of cropping to have 362 pixels of width revealed on the left side of your canvas we need to subtract this from the whole width value of 1920 we can use the value that we previously calculated when adding up crop left and crop right of 1558 and add this to crop right As we did with the first compound clip, keyframes will need to be utilized so that a text reveal effect can occur on screen. Select the keyframe diamond icons for both crop left and crop right. Add a gentle fade effect to the cropped edges of compound clip 2 by changing softness to minus 20 to ensure that the ripple effect for each of your letters is clear on screen. Drag your red playhead to the end of your compound clips. Now switch around the values for crop left and right, 
So crop left here will become 1558 and crop right will become zero. To add ripples to your second compound clip, return to your effects library and underneath toolbox, select open effects and scroll down to the bottom to find ripples. Select and drag this to compound clip two. With the second compound clip selected, return to inspector and select effects. The shine properties will eventually be disabled for this particular effect. What we can do in the meantime as the editor is use these so that we can see where the ripples will appear on screen. To make the shine more significant, increase the shine strength value so that you can see clearly where these will be shown on screen. Tick animate to ensure that the ripples move on screen as the video is played. And to make the ripples move at a gentle speed, decrease the speed value to 0.05. Underneath ripple one, to reduce the strength of the ripple so that each letter is distinguishable on screen, reduce the value of amplitude to 0.18. To increase the number of ripples which appear on each letter slightly, increment the value for frequency to 80. Return to your edits timeline and position your red playhead at the start of the compound clips. To have the center of the ripple effect be positioned over each letter, which is revealed throughout the animation, we must refer to the variable position X under ripple one. Take the keyframe diamond icon for this particular variable and readjust position X so that the center of the ripples are centralized within the white transform frame at the start of your animation. In this particular example here, I've reduced the value of position X to 0.1. Note how the center of the ripples is also parallel with the center of each of the letters that will appear in this animation. Now drag your red playhead to the end of your animation and adjust position X once more so that the center of the ripples is located within the middle of the transform frame at the end of your animation. In this case here, I will set the value to 0.9. To remove the white curved ripple shapes from your screen now, untick shine and to make the rippling text blend into the dark background more, go to video, scroll down the properties to find composite and reduce opacity to 50. To have the rippling text fade in and out in your video, return to effects library and underneath toolbox, select video transitions and go to find cross dissolve. Click and drag one of these to the start of your second compound clip. If we select this cross dissolve edit, we can see the transition properties appearing in inspector. Your fade effect for your animation should last for about a tenth of your total clip. Since the total duration of this particular video is 10 seconds, we can keep the default duration of one second for this particular cross dissolve transition. Alter the values in seconds or frames if you wish. Return to your effects library and drag a second cross dissolve transition to the end of your second compound clip so that your second text layer fades out at the end. Ensure that both cross dissolve edits are the same duration for consistency. Now to add an altering brightness effect to your text. Ensure that you have space on your edits timeline for a third video track by clicking on the top of the timeline and dragging this upwards. Underneath toolbox, go to generators and scroll down to find noise gradient. Select and drag one of these to a video track directly above the two compound clips. Adjust the size of the edit to cover the entire width of the compound clips. Select the noise gradient edit. Go to inspector and under version one and controls, change detail to 10 to create a smoky effect for this gradient. Right click on the noise gradient edit on the timeline and select new compound clip. Click create. With this third compound clip selected, return to inspector, scroll down the properties to find composite. Change composite mode from normal 
to multiply. Enable the first compound clip so that you are able to preview your text. To avoid making your text too dark and difficult to see, reduce the opacity value to 75. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.